Yo, yo. Trip, yo. Malcolm's Pit Viper is our first snake here. All right, here we go. Check it out. One of the most iconic frogs in the area. And this one has such an awesome like. This is a freaking insane viper. Wow. What in the literally deafening noise? What in the tunnel? Where are we? Well, we have just arrived in Kota Kinabawi. However, I am surprised to play where the stuff is not diverted <laughs> into the fucking sea. All right, and we've just about made it to Kinabalu Park. Steven's joined up with us again um, after his Chinese New Year misery. And then, of course, the same guys in the back as always. And uh, yeah, back in Montane Forest. Where else you have a trend and it's cloudy all the time. And there you go, there's a, as Steven said, an actual view of the mountaintop. Um, a lot yeah. of the time you're here, it's completely invisible. So maybe we can get a, grab a photo before it gets completely dark. But one of the, I think it's the highest mountain in Southeast Asia, if you exclude the Himalayas, which is pretty impressive. It's yeah. really, really cool. Yeah, over 4,000 meters, Keith. That is 3,251 meters more than Northern Ireland. <laughs> Sleeve donner. <laughs> <laughs> what in the obscure mountain that no one outside of Belfast has heard of? <laughs> what is it like 20 meters or something? No, it's, as I said, 851 meters. Yeah. Sleeve donner. Yeah. What, um, how far do you think you could make it up Mount Kinabalu without collapsing? Ooh. He's not even going to make it to the gate. Let's see, have I got a 100 plus in me or not? <laughs> you can bring as many 100 pluses as you want. Give me a 100 plus, a coffee, and I can do one five. Yeah. All right, and we have arrived in the park. Uh, we are driving up to somewhere where we're gonna walk. Chance we could cruise something on the road. I'm um, not super high though, but it is prime time. The moon has not hit the peak yet, and it's cloudy anyway. So I've got good vibes for tonight, very good vibes. Let's hope the rain holds off and we can find some snakes. I back the boys, we're gonna find some snakes. And we are out walking. We are here, Mount Kinabalu. One of the most interesting areas, high rates of endemism and some incredibly charismatic showstopper species to be found here too. There's no disputing, it is a tough place to herp. It is easy to herp here and find one or less snakes in a night, but I'm confident with the group we have that we can turn stuff up and hopefully something cool as well. So we're gonna be in maximum focus, which means minimal updates from me, but I will update you when we find stuff. So let's get to it. six for six, let's not stop it. All right, seconds after walking, just got a juvenile Malcolm's Pit Viper, which is a, you know, a quick way to find one of your targets. <laughs> I wouldn't say juvenile would be our, our biggest target, but finding the species is already one thing. And that right there is a, yeah, that's juvenile Malcolm. I what the boss, Keith? What in the Malcolm's Pit Malcolm Viper I. being extremely common? <laughs> what in the lit, how long have you been walking for? My <laughs> maximum five minutes. So I just see this neon yellow snake glowing. I'm like, ah, Sabahai. And like, wait a second, That's there's awesome. there's bands. <laughs> Keith, do you even know what this snake is? I mean, it's in the books of Borneo, which I read extensively. It's the cover. <laughs> it's on the cover. I read that from cover to cover. Really? Absolutely not. <laughs> Does it count as a showstopper at this stage? Um, I wouldn't say it stops the show, but it certainly slows things down. Anyway, yeah, here you can see, guys. Very, very small Malcolm's Pit Viper. Um, not a hatchling by any means. Uh, I think a hatchling would have even less black in it than this, but this one still has the blacks coming in. Quite a cool viper. I can see the similarities with like juvenile Sum Sumatran Pit Viper. Um, it's not actually that small, though. It certainly looks like it. It was being a bit touchy, though, so I'm not going to put... Actually, now I can put my hand into frame. There you go. Oh, well, that looks tiny. I think it's like the phone like lens distortion made my hand look bigger there, but... Yeah, cool. Malcolm's Pit Viper is our first snake here in Mount Kinabalu. That's pretty special. Um, and we're going to keep searching for sure. But yeah, this species, I mean, I wouldn't describe it as being rare around here, would you? But it's certainly one of the like rarer vipers in comparison to Sabahai. And it's not the kind of snake you can come here and guarantee seeing on a trip. Although personally, between you and me, I was pretty sure we would find it. Our track record with vipers is exceptional. So it's probably more common than Sumatranas. Yeah, that, that's probably a realistic estimation to make. Um, yeah, look at that. So are we defining this as a showstopper or? I, I'd say a, a show slower. I'm, okay. not, I'm not going as far as to say showstopper. Well, but yeah, I don't. <laughs> In that case, we know what Freddie Macri says. The show must go on. All right, here we go. About, what is it? 25 minutes later, 30 minutes later. Keith just spotted this uh, Trimerosaurus sabahai, which is the other species of green viper in the park. Um, this one's looking 
like a male to me. And actually the first male I've ever seen of this species. Of course, I've only been here once before and we didn't stay for very long, didn't see many snakes. I don't know, maybe we've got like 10 plus species, but this was one of them, just not a male. And there's a car coming past. Pretty standard, pretty similar to a lot of the vipers you've been seeing on my channel across the years, especially Pope's Pit Viper and also like uh, Trimerosaurus Fakatus, which we were showing in Malaysia, of course. Um, it's very similar to those. In fact, right now it's considered the same species, although they are clearly different. And what in the, even more traffic on a quiet road, inevitably running over our dream snake. Anyway, we're just gonna leave this guy here in situ. But yeah, you can see, nice, uh, decent sized Saba Pit Viper. It's big, a lot bigger. Wait, 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 we need to appropriately do this. There we go. Now you can see the size. Reasonably sized male. Good spot, Keith. Good spot, Keith. Seven out of seven. Okay, so I just looked into the bushes and I saw some really big frog eyes shine. I went to take a closer look and uh, check it out. One of the most iconic frogs in the area. And this one has such an awesome, like, camo gray coloration. Keith, can you take a peer in my neck and see what's biting me on my neck? Like, all right, here we just got one of the endemic geckos of the area. Certidactylus something, maybe Baloensis. I've seen it many times last time I was here, can't remember the binomial, but it's pretty nice, so, although pretty similar to many of the geckos throughout the region. Decent size too, but I'm just gonna leave this one in situ. Yo, trip, yo, Harry was just like, dude, this trail looks so good and open. We, it must what? be so much, oh my God, end what of this lies life. He was like, it must be so much, so easy for us to find Malcolm out here. I just look through the forest as he's saying that, I don't know if you can see in the background, but there is a giant Malcolmai right there. Let's go in. It's fucking monster. Second Malcolmai of the night, and it's looking like one of the coolest snakes I've ever seen. All right, careful, Harry. There's a string here. Yeah, Harry's letting out the fucking inner. What in the getting caught in a snail? T Bro, snare trap. What in the Look at that. Holy crap, that is a good snake. Our number one target for this location, number one snake target. And we got two of them on the first night. Juvenile, and here's the, here's the real deal. An adult, hold on, let me switch into filming light. Boom, boom. Oh, I love the amount of blacks on this. This thing this is, is pretty absolutely <laughs> huge, by the way. <laughs> what in the... Bigger. This isn't like fully black or anything. Like, where can I show the size of this thing? This is a... Freaking insane viper. Wow. And just chilling here in the lower vegetation on the trail. Incredible. I just had to capture that moment of pure exhilaration when we found it. Yeah, we took the snake down to this lovely little stream a few meters away. So I'm not sure how well you can hear me. I'm gonna shout, so sorry if I'm actually deafening you because you never know quite how the mic responds. It responds differently with different cameras like with different lenses on the iPhone, but I'm gonna stop talking about that and talk about this absolute beauty here. I mean, I've always dreamed of seeing this snake. It's been one of my biggest targets in Asia, like outside of Thailand for so long. And seeing one in the flesh with, I mean, it's such an incredible amalgamation of different colors, like the green and the black, like that is such a good combo. As you guys know very well by now, I am not a fan of general green vipers, but this, is not a green viper. This is an incredible snake. And I cannot understate how large it is. I hope, I hope it came out well, but uh, the head is absolutely massive, but it's just calmed down nicely here. I can't get too close because it was striking earlier, although it must be so cold because its strikes were like this. Like, it was like, bleh, bleh. like really not what you, <laughs> What in the of intelligence? But yeah, I'm sure we've seen enough of this snake by now. I'll just show you more of its incredible beauty here in the montane forest of Mount Kinabalu. All right, after that amazing Malcomai, we have got down to the river and we're gonna walk this for a bit. Yeah, I'm hopeful we can find something. Habitat looks great. Oh, look, there's a bird. Hello, little birdie. Anyway, full focus, let's get to it. All right, our next find is another frog, and here we have the iconic Megophrys or Pelobotrachus kobayashii. Very superficially similar to the last one we saw, of course a different color, but with way more protuberances for tubercles all over the body, 
and much less defined horns on the head. These can actually have some insane like yellow spotted all over them, which I've seen before. But this is definitely the more common of the two. I have seen this one last time I was here, but they're certainly one of the undoubted most cool frogs in the area. Look at him climbing all over my hand there. I just saw him sitting in a burrow on the side, gently coerced him out. And we get to look at this freaking awesome animal. I'm a huge fan of these giant, like warty, slow moving horn frogs you get around here. And of course, in the rest of Southeast Asia. But here has a real abundance of them like nowhere else. And they are incredible. Like, look at that thing. Whoa, whoa. What in the subsentient frog almost throwing itself to its death? Wow, check this out. Really amazing couple of frogs mating here. The female is ridiculous. I'm pretty sure this is a well-known species here and I may have seen it before, but I didn't do any reading up of frogs before I came here. So I'll have to stick the ID on screen, but really cool observation, which I'm 100% gonna get my camera out for. All societal norms were broken and we thought we were about to wrap up. Harry walked down the trail and caught a new snake, a lifer actually. This is, I believe the common name is the Borneo black snake, Steganotus borneensis. And superficially, it's quite similar to a lichen and it has a head. If you come in close and look at the head, I can put it against my hand. As you, if you look here, you can see it has a in, kind of an enlarged rostral and the stuffed animal eyes, which is quite typical of lycodon. <laughs> but apparently, no, this is Steganotus, this one. And it's very glossy as well, which is also similar to a lycodon. But yeah, no, apparently it's Steganotus. And what's interesting is this genus is mostly found east of the Wallace line. That's in Papua New Guinea and Australia. Like Australia has a member of this genus. So it's really interesting that it's found here. And even though I'm not convinced that it's not a lycodon and it's just bad taxonomy, it's certainly an interesting snake and great to see a lifer here. It's one I've been wanting to see here for a while, like a cool kind of quite large terrestrial snake. You can see here, not small by any stretch of the imagination. And if you look in the venter here, you can see it's got a meal. No idea what it could be, like no way of knowing, but my guess would be some kind of lizard gecko. It's around that size, seems kind of bumpy, so it could have those gecko-y legs or something, but yeah, cool. Certainly gonna wrap up now. We are so tired and we wanna get out during the day tomorrow, so I'm gonna head back, let's go.